Well, hey everybody, my name is William Lawson and welcome to the Saxophone Factory. We appreciate you being here. Uh, you know, this video is going to be a little different, and I'm going to tell you why. Because sometimes, and, and I already know this is the case on YouTube, uh, I, I am not under any delusion that I am the only person on YouTube who, who does saxophone stuff that you watch. I am under no delusion that I am your sensei. I am not. I am, at your, I am your king, and I am sitting on some mountain top, and you're all at my feet. You're not. Uh, because I have, I have folks that I watch uh, on YouTube as well. Um, you know, it's because the, the learning thing is very, very important. To, to, to pick up this or that, you know. And, and not that I will agree with everybody and will agree with everything they say. Um, because it hasn't been part of my own, either my own personal experience or my own personal training. So, um, but you can pick up things. You can listen through and hear and implement, you know, what you hear from other folks. That's why the community of saxophone players is very, very important. Uh, you know, and, and even in my, you know, in listening for enjoyment, I listen to a lot of different people. And now I, Phil Woods is my, is my dude, he just is. Um, on, on for, for, for you know for jazz saxophone, uh, but I also I am a fan of Paul Desmond, um, very much, very much intelligent. So I really like Paul Desmond, uh, but I also like my teacher Pat Meehan for classical saxophone. Uh, I am a Rasherite uh, by by education. That means that I that, that we are part of the quote German school of saxophone playing, which which harkens back to the original intent. Of the saxophone as being an orchestral instrument, uh, so it is different. And of course, you know Phil Woods isn't doesn't hearken from that school. Neither does Paul Desmond, although Desmond sounds a little bit more that than, say Phil, or you know, or a lot of other players. Now I've only mentioned alto players right now. I know because I'm I'm an alto principal, um, but but again, there are different people that you know that that we listen to. And here on YouTube, there are different people that we watch, and we watch them for different reasons. Um, one of the one of the guys I like to watch because he's funny, and he's a very good player, and he's a very good teacher. Is uh, Doctor Wally Wallace of the Saxophone Academy? You can see that I'm subscribed to his channel, um, and um, and I like him because he has a very practical approach to all the things he talks about and he also provides examples and he also provides um, PDFs from his website to help you along in the process um, and you know and and I think that that's very very important uh, I think that we're probably closer um, in philosophy in, in you know in in, in saxophone philosophy than a lot of other people. Now, I'm telling you, I don't listen to everybody. I mean, there are other really good players out there and, and, and guys who have, have channels that are very, very good uh, and very, very popular. And, and you can mention some of them in the comments. Uh, although I've seen their channels, I don't watch their channels necessarily. I'm not necessarily subscribed to them. Um, but um, I know they're out there and I, and I know that you're watching them too. My channel is different because I am focused, almost hyper-focused on beginners, people who are just starting to play the saxophone and taking you through a method book and taking you through method, you know, this methodology that's, that's slow, but hopefully you get a lot of the basics. Uh, I, and, and, and when I teach improvisation, I teach basic improvisation. Uh, I try to put some, you know, some fun stuff in the videos, you know, in my list of videos of, of me playing and and that kind of stuff, but my focus is on getting beginners a really good start. I think that's really very, very important. And answering questions. So, again, if you have questions, write them in the comments. Heck, we'll make a video about it. Uh, again, Dr. Wally Wallace. Very much, um, not that the other people are, are have an unintelligent uh, approach, but Dr. Wally Wallace is, has a very, very... Um, intelligent approach to saxophone. I think it, I think he has a very practical approach to saxophone. So if you've not subscribed to uh, the Saxophone Academy, 
Uh, let's see. Zach's One Academy. If you're not subscribed to that, do. Do. Um, I'll, and I will put um, the link onto his channel in the description box. Uh, because I think that you'll, I think you'll enjoy it. I think you get a lot out of it. Uh, not that I want you to leave me, because I don't. But I think that he makes a, a a a tremendous addition on it, and he also talks a lot about jazz, but he also talks a lot a, a lot about um, classical saxophone too. And I think that that's important because that again harkens back to the original intent. Now we disagree that um, we shouldn't be. Uh, really focused on, and my mindset is. Let me get back to me. My mindset is that when we need to, when we play this music, we play it as if the saxophone actually existed in box time. Uh, weird, I know, weird. Or the saxophone actually existed in Handel's time or Vivaldi's time. It did not, and I know that. But my mental approach. And my playing approach is to treat it as if it did, as, as if it did. Um, so we look for flute or clarinet or violin examples or cello examples on how a piece of music might have been played. And try to emulate uh, how it might have been played by another instrument. Um, and we bring that into my saxophone playing when we're playing classical music. And we use classical as an overall overarching term. For stuff that's not pop or jazz or rock, uh, I understand that classical is is a is a period of time in music um, closely aligned to people like Beethoven. Um, but a lot of the uh, classical saxophone literature is Baroque literature. A lot of it is um, Bach, Handel, Vivaldi, Telemann, those kinds of pieces. So I try to think that way and I think that probably although he would just probably disagree with me Dr. Wally Wallace is closer to that for me so I get a lot because he's adjacent to me in 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 saxophone thought when we start talking about classical music now uh another guy that I know I I just I'm sure of that you watch is um is Jay Metcalf a better sax uh, better sax, um, it's, I am pretty sure it's mostly jazz. I've not heard um, Jay play any, quote, classical literature. Now, if I'm wrong, put that link down in, down, down in the um, kind of comments, and um, I'll make sure I watch those videos so you can see I am subscribed. Um, and I think that that's incredibly important uh, because he is more jazz adjacent to me. So we have Dr. Wally Wallace here. And we have Jay Metcalf here. Again, a very, a very, what I consider a very practical approach. Um, and and his and his approach isn't so hit and miss. Um, this is popular. Let's see if I can teach you how to growl, or or, or, or learn this song. Or I'm not here to teach you songs. I'm here to teach you how to play the saxophone. You can play whatever doggone songs you want. I don't care, you know, what songs you play. Uh, so I'm not here to teach you a song note by note. I'm not. And neither of these people, Dr. Wally Wallace or Jay Metcalf and Better Sax, uh, or Wally Wallace from the Saxophone Academy, do that. Um, they're teaching you skills that you need to learn how to play the saxophone on your own and enjoy the playing of the saxophone on your own. Uh, again, Jay Metcalf is closer to my jazz side. And... Um, has some very practical approaches to um, style and improvisation and those kinds of things. And and, and they've got, and he's got product. Reeves, um, you know, he promotes key leaves. Uh, I don't, I have not used key leaves, but I am going to buy some reeds. Um, I know that he also has mouthpieces out. The burning mouthpieces are, are out. There's also an instrument. He has saxophones. Um, so he's really, really rocking it, really growing. Um, and, and, and Jay's a very interesting dude. So if you have not subscribed to Better Sax, I can't imagine anyone who's watching this video is not subscribed to Better Sax. I just can't imagine that you haven't. Uh, there you go. Better Sax. Uh, you see I've subscribed. There you go. Um, uh, here on YouTube. Now, a dude that I just found recently, uh, and I'll, 
Let me get back. And, I, and, I, and I'll tell you, I have had pleasure, honor, indeed working in, in, in the repair shop where I teach on a couple of occasions. The first time I worked in a repair shop for like three years. Uh, and I learned a lot. Not just about repairing saxophones, but the whole repair shop vibe. Uh, my friend Scott, uh, who is a not just a technician, dude's an artisan. He 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 breathes, lives and breathes this stuff. Uh, taught me a lot about how damage is caused and and and, and how to, and how to go backwards and and you know and going from something that's damaged and repairing it and getting it back to playing condition uh, and better than playing condition. Um, and he you know taught me a lot. And this the, the second time is recently. Where I went, you know, I went to the repair shop as, as a true grunt uh, to work on, to wash and repair rental trumpets. <laughs> Ooh, rental trumpets. But it's important. Yeah, I took, I, you know, I took, I, I took the position w while it lasted for a little extra cash and to help, up the, help the store out to, to get some rental trumpets ready to go. And in that, we still got the opportunity to look at some small repairs. And seeing how this stuff is, how all these things happen, and even on instruments that are not my instruments, you can, if you pay attention, you can learn a lot about the saxophone, flute, or clarinet, and how they function, and and why things go bad, and what we do, and what the repair folks do to rectify those situations. And I found, and I finally found a a dude on YouTube that I like, that has a very very down to earth approach and it's this dude here it's wes lee not wesley wes lee music repair he has a music his uh a music repair shop in pedal miss pedal mississippi and um he's been there since 1994 as you can tell in you know in his avatar uh you can check him out please and that's wes uh wesley music repair 9820 go ahead and subscribe to this dude's channel uh, and and it, it's, it's saxophone repair, it's clarinet, trumpet, tuba, and some of the things that he gets in that he gets in his shop. You're like, oh my god, just throw it away. It's broken. He makes it happen. And he and, and I've seen some of the techniques that he uses in the repair shops that I that I've worked in, and it is it is magic. It is freaking magic. Remember, I did the video. I've already done the video about finding a good repair person. Yeah, if you live in anywhere near Petal, Mississippi, this dude is your repair guy. That's all there is to it. This dude right here, Wes Lee, is your um, repair guy, and he's exactly he looks exactly what you think a repair guy should look, should you mean should look like. Big fella, got the beard, the whole nine, got the apron, the whole the whole schmear, and um, got the right approach. Uh, it's, it's 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 actually actually super. It's amazing. All right, listen, again, we are not in, none of us are in this alone. We all have all our influences and we, and we, and we synthesize these influences and information in a way, hopefully that can make us a better saxophonist, that can make us a better musician, and that can make us um, a better person to promote what we're doing because we need good repair people. Uh, I, you, you cannot live a good repair person and you are not your best repair person. It's like being your own doctor. Not the best plan. Um, and I need, I need a jazz dude in my, in, in one year. And I, I need, I need a classical dude in the other year. So I, I, so I need Jay Metcalf in this year and I need Dr. Wally Wallace in this year. I do. So I wouldn't listen to everybody because you can get confused because of, the, because of the divergent opinions. Um, but find a few guys. Find two or three that you can get different things from. And remember to practice. Practice. Play your instrument a lot. Practice. Um, study. Think about it. Read about it. And for the most part, have fun. Again, we are at 990 subscribers when this video is going up. Uh, we are 10 away from 1,000. 10. 10. 10 away from 1,000. Um, if you can help us get there, then uh, we'll push forward to get uh, 4,000 listens. 
and we're about 3,200 hours away from 4,000. But, you know, one thing at a time. In any case, we got to get out of here and make room for somebody else. So until we see you again, keep practicing. We will see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.